Are you tired of living paycheck to paycheck? Well, that's reality for most families in Hawaii. Let me introduce you to a family in my district, the Lee family. They got a household income of about $60,000. That's $5,000 a month before taxes. Now let's remove the taxes, the federal income tax, social security, Medicare, and state income tax. Take off $2,300 for rent, and you know, you're talking about a two bedroom apartment here. The Lees now have $1,500 a month left. That's $375 a week. $375 a week for food, gas, a car, and health care. That's a struggle for a family of four. My wife and I have eight children. We know what it's like to try and make ends meet. That's why as a Republican caucus, we are fighting this legislative session to exempt food from the general excise tax. The average family, like the Lees we talked about, would save about $650 a year. Think about what $650 a year could do for their family. Maybe it's an extra ticket to the neighbor islands or something like that. But it's not like we have an option to buy food or not. We can't live without it. So I invite you to join me. Call your elected officials and tell them to stop taxing life. Stop, stop taxing food because we all need it to live.